celebrated robbery case started six years ago when armed robbers attacked five banks in the community, killing nine police officers and more than 20 civilians in the operation. The matter was adjourned severally as a result of COVID-19, an incident of national assignments, until today when the final judgment was passed. It was a full-capacity courtroom with journalists and interested persons and lawyers enthusiastic to see the faces of affected suspects. Okay. Justice Halima Salman of the Kwara State High Court eventually sentenced the accused persons to death by hanging for being guilty of armed robbery and culpable homicide. On the case of illegal possession of firearms, the judge sentenced the accused to three years' imprisonment. Speaking with some section of the press after the sitting, the prosecuting counsel expressed satisfaction at the turn of the matter, saying that the judgment is a true reflection of the matter. The trial within trial, where the defendant will have to raise that uh, his statement were not voluntary. We spend a lot of time on that. The court will have to be uh, the protest within the period, Jumpson strike, the election petition where the judge were taken outside the jurisdiction for one year. So the holidays, the vacation, the right to COVID-19, all those combination of factors extended the trial period to that, that six years. So, but, um, and this law she was writing a long hand for 22 witnesses. So that is why the judgment, the trial took that six years. But at the end of the day, we know, you know, not only the trial, the main person who, who originated the, the Aduku himself died. So in police custody, that's why it's not one of them that is convicted today. But evidence clearly showed that these people were involved in the, in the, in the robbery. The representative of the defense counsel, however, said, that his principal will make appeal in due course. In line with the evidence that is in court and vis uh, a -vis the evidence of the prosecutions and what have you and the evidence before the court, uh, we emphasize that uh, definitely it's going to be like this. And most especially, you know, this matter called for public interest. In line with uh, AG or your state against uh, Bilu, it's an automatic appeal. It's an automatic appeal and uh, definitely it's going to stay. So I think it's one of those things that uh, Mr. Emeribi, I've started doing, comparing the record and uh, what I've at least we moved to the upstairs. After several years of waiting to hear this judgment, Nigerians will be waiting to see how an appeal goes if finally made to a higher court.